Hey guys, what's up? It's Welsh and yeah, semi quick at the start of this, my original fire of my Cremo did crap. So the problem is, is that the fixtures are slightly different. Just so you know, wins, losses, draws, the point in the cup are all the exact same. Just the fixtures and goal statistics and clean sheet statistics are different. So you may see a few repeat uh, fixtures coming up very soon in the next few episodes. So I do apologize, nothing I can do, but anyways, crack on into this. <laughs> EA Sports. It's in the game. What's up, guys? It's Welsh Andy SG, and welcome back to another Blackburn Rovers crew mode on the next gen console, Xbox One. But anyway, thank you very much for the support in the previous episode. Thank you very much for. Uh, just want to say thank you. It's gone down pretty well recently. And this, there's a new story. Don't take the job. Venkis has spoken. He said today that if Griffiths did take the role at Wales, it will affect his uh, job at uh, Blackburn Rovers. But what do you think? What will happen? Obviously, Venkis is the one who's uh, paying his wages. So will Griffiths lead the Venkis? We will find out in a couple of episodes' time. Will he be taking a well shot or will he postpone it to take it in the future? We never know because Blackburn are not doing too well in the league at the moment. They are in around 12th to 11th place, but the form is picking up with Blackburn Rovers. But anyway, guys, make sure you leave the video a like. We highly appreciate it. If we get to 100 likes we did before, and if we can do it again, that would be pretty amazing. But anyway, I want to say thank you very much for your support. And and I got a question for you guys. It's not necessarily like a normal one, like where I ask you guys who's your favourite player, who who's your favourite national team and stuff like that. It's kind of one I want your help with players who I should buy. Because if a lot of you don't know, I, I play ahead of the career. Like so whilst up I'm a few episodes ahead. Um, and I want you to suggest players, young players with good potential, because this year I'm kinda out of the loop and I don't really know what to look for this year. I've got a few players in mind who I'm looking to buy, but if you guys got any players which would be amazing if you could suggest, because it, it's a massive help on my end. I know a lot of you play career mode a lot more and you are a lot more further within the careers than me as in uploading wise. Um, so it'd be awesome if you could actually suggest some players who have who are young players and have good potential or, or who are even just a cracking player. But anyway, back into the game. Thank you very much. If you do end up posting the comments, make sure you leave the video like while you're down there. And we go one up against Aston Villa. Yes, we're in the we go. It looks like we're going to the semi-finals of the League Cup, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Griffiths with the header. Rhodes assisting. Rhodes is now finding his ways in this football club. It is so amazing to see him performing well now. And we do end up, ladies and gentlemen, winning that game one 0 against Aston Villa. It was a pretty, pretty good game if he was a neutral. Um, gutted for uh, Villa, if you were, my former team as well. So we do end up getting the win. But anyway, you look at the statistics. Four shots they had. We had seven. We had more possessions. So it isn't exactly like we didn't deserve the win without a doubt. But uh, anyway, back to business now. I've checked that. Our game did take, slightly take, us out, take it out of us a little bit. We are 11th in the league. So 31 points. So it's... Um, not looking brilliant. Honestly, I'm fighting for a promotion. It's like, do I focus on the League Cup or do I focus on the Championship? And honestly, you want both. Um, so I'm going to try and focus on both. And uh, January is going to be a big step for us to try and get depth in our play, depth in our team. Um, because I need to grow a side. And I think it's, I ain't going to lie, the rest of the players we got, such as Fabio Nunes, um, Evans, they are not amazing players. They're good players, but they're not um, good enough to keep us up to scratch with all the rest of the teams and unlike uh, when you're Premier League side you can rest a lot of players in the when you play the League Cup because we are going for League Cup and we haven't exactly got that amazing players and we play in Premier League sides we got to play our full side out and anyway we got we get a penalty here 15 minutes in Nathan is this a penalty or not let me know in the comments below he does end up going for the shot but the defender's here and does body check him. Let me know in the comments. So, we get a penalty. Jordan Rhodes steps up. Is he going to get a goal this game? He going to assist the last game. Jordan Rhodes, look at that. Into the roof of the net. Absolutely amazing from the guy. And there it is, 16 minutes in. With the LaBelle celebration. Our dirty mate would be proud of that. And he's 1-0 up now. Blackman Rhodes, Jordan Rhodes getting the goal. 16 minutes in now into the second half. Nathan on the ball. Gives the ball to... Griffiths. We are playing the 4-5-1 slightly custom. I may consider doing a little breakdown of it very soon. But anyway, we get a chance here. Griffiths just wide of that post. You've got to try your luck because normally 
I've been playing FIFA 40 and I always try to get into the box, try and get point blank range shots. But what's the point? Have a shot from outside the box. What's the worst that can happen? It's not going to. Um, it's not going to. What do you call it? It's not going to be any worse. Um, I completely mucked up that sense. But anyway, this is a complete big play. We get a chance and then they get a counter attack and they brilliant save from Jake Keane. I had a few comments why you're not playing Robin, Rob, uh, Robinson. And that's the reason why Jake Keane's been playing very, very well. And you can't really drop a player who's been playing well. The momentum's behind him. Uh, Paul Robinson knows the fact that he's not a uh, first choice keeper at the moment because obviously he's been uh, injured. Um, and stuff, so that's kind of good. We can play Jake a bit more. So, uh, anyway, this is the statistics. Uh, Doncas only have one shot, but they are more possessions. So, it's kind of that downfall with that. But, anyway, let's have a look at the league table, ladies and gentlemen. We are slowly and surely moving up. We're in ninth place now, so that's looking good. And, anyway, we're coming to the last game of the episode. Guys, if I forgot, um, if you haven't yet, make sure you leave the video a like. I'd be highly appreciated. We got 100 likes on the last couple, uh, on the last episode, on episode 7, so that's pretty old. Cool. This is episode 9. I haven't seen episode 8 yet. Um, but, anyway, there we are playing Watford. They are playing 5 at the back. I've noticed a lot of championship teams actually play 5 at the back, and it's so... So hard to break down. It's unbelievable. But anyway, what for now on the ball? They get an early chance. We just flung at that guy's leg, trying to snap him up. Gives the ball to Forreston. I think someone actually suggested that guy in the comments when uh, I first started the series on what players to buy. Um, but anyway, um, oh yeah, when I ask you about uh, what players I should buy, any players if you think are good in your career mode, comment on them. I would normally say a Pacific. Pacific? position but i'm not particularly bothered so let me know all that little help every little house anyway look at griffiths wins the ball puts a through ball to jordan rhodes it wasn't switching at one point and then a switch jordan rhodes slots it in 23 minutes in he does the captain celebration and there it is lovely through ball jordan rhodes and griffiths are mwah, mwah, bon appetit at the moment they seem to be finding everything perfect absolutely amazing guys you know when something's perfect it's when it's perfect you know what i mean but anyway look at this jo a spur on a ball over the top to jordan rhodes look at this lovely run from jordan rhodes he goes to the shot and there it is another goal will jordan rhodes get his hat trick will he become a hat trick hero this game he is coming back in the form as i've mentioned several times absolutely amazing from the guy brilliant again and there it is to make a 2-0 26 minutes in five minutes between each goal no two minutes between or three minutes i don't bloody know it's a quick time between each goal and there it is jordan rhodes slots in that bottom right hand corner right past almunia absolutely amazing that's slow motion Action replay. Guys, it is now 2-0 against Watford. And here we go, 50, 15 minutes in now. So second half, Watford doing again attack. Uh, Keane with a brilliant save there. His one-on-ones are very, very good. But then I say that, and then this happens. This really pissed me off. Because if he goes in with his arms and his chest, he would have got the ball. But for some reason, he decided to do the logical thing, as most keepers shouldn't do, is go in with their feet. And that's what happens. He gives away a penalty. 59 minutes in. And he does end up receiving a yellow card. Look at that. Blatant penalty. Nothing I can complain about that. And anyway. Watford. Step up. And here it is. Up to the roof of the net. As I said, see guys, they keep going down the middle. And I never trust them. I always think they're going to go somewhere else. But anyway. 59 minutes in is now 2 1. We get another chance now. Down the king. We could do another left mid as well. We just. Like, I love Chris Taylor. But. I just don't play him enough. I don't think he's fast enough to play down on the left hand side. I like Chris Taylor in the middle. I actually prefer him as a calm compared to a, a left middle or anything like that. But anyway, we, we do end up winning that game. And uh, we do. that's a very, very good episode for us. A couple of wins and uh, the belt. And guys, I want to say thanks for watching. Make sure you leave the video a like if you did enjoy it. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. We are close to 15,500 subscribers. So make sure you subscribe. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for your support, and guys, make sure you stay awesome, and make sure you follow me on Twitter, because if you want to find out any information and stuff, or ask me any questions, that Twitter is in the description below, and I'm Welsh and yes, this is my video, I'll see you next time, bye!